Hey guys, so last of three race highlights is in the Gia Yaris, uh, which I've been wanting to drive for a very long time now, very excited for it. So thank you Clan for putting this in. Um, qualified third, surprisingly, didn't expect that again. Um, but as usual, as I've been saying through this whole weekend, I've been getting bad, bad launches. So you'll see the lights go out, it's an endurance race, so you'll see the lights go out. Um, and I already get jumped by Clan Fever, he just had a much better launch. Um, off the line than I did. I was daydreaming, unfortunately. Um, so that cost me third, uh, third place. I lose third place pretty quickly. Um, so I settle into fourth, but then I have Chef Todd uh, coming down down the back of me um, into the first right handy. So as I'm watching my place in the car just to try to carry more speed through the exit, uh, I've got to be careful of Chef Todd because I know he can dive down the inside at any point, and especially on this track a tight twisty track um, once you lose track position down the inside it's very very easy to have to run wide go into the dirt you can spin um, things like that so i'm just trying to maintain track position trying to keep up my speed but then also stay in the toe of clan fever and heatster as they battle hoping that that slows them down to allow me to catch back up and maybe potentially get third place so you see we're coming to this right hand i stay a little bit wide miss the apex just to get a nice clean exit at the at the final turn down the back straight um, and that was a lot nicer and cleaner than Chef Todd did um, so he didn't manage to get a clean exit so it just allowed me to carry more speed break the toe um, as Clan Fever and Heats to battle that's allowing me to gain and coming up to this first right hand I break heavily break pretty early and that just gives me a cleaner entry into this right hand just to carry a lot more speed a lot, lot cleaner through it uh, and I get onto the back of the gearbox of Heats to pretty quickly and from there we just battle on for a few laps. Now, I made the mistake, a lot of unsteer. I'm, I'm modulating the brakes as hard as I can. Heavy onto the brakes as hard as I can. No hitting, um, no touching there. Amazingly, I got a clean race bonus, so I didn't touch him, but I dive down the inside. He locks up and, and gets some oversteer for good measure. So it was unfortunate. I think we're all in the same boat with just the oversteer and understeer coming through for no apparent reason. You know, these are brand new tires. We should have had full traction as Chef Todd looks down the inside, but I get a better better exit. Now, A. McEwen comes through and starts putting Todd under pressure, so that helped me. That allowed me to get a little bit of a gap um, between him and I, and me chase up to, to Heatster as well. Unfortunately, A. E. McEwen pushes through both of us, and then he claims, I think, second um, in the end. So, aside from that, aside from Chef Todd having to defend and losing some, some time there, and then Obviously, A coming through me, I did my best to hold him up as much as I could, but it was all in vain anyway. The best I could hope for was let him buy. He still would let him buy, I was pretty sure, um, and then just continue to battle with Pizza. You see, I get down the inside again, but, but I know better of it this time. Harder on the brakes, avoid any contact, and, and he obviously he didn't have any oversteer, so we resumed the battle again. Now, I knew A was pressuring me. The only option I had was to make the move on Heatster as quick as I could, as cleanly as I could. So I send one down the inside, right-hander, heavy under brakes. Heatster is very respectful on this, doesn't hit me, gives me the space, and I get a good exit out of that hairpin uh, just to secure that third place. But I knew it was all in vain. It was more so saving fourth place um, than anything. As you see, Heatster carries more speed down the inside, has the inside track on me. I had AE on the outside, so I was basically sandwiched in the middle. Trying not to hit anyone, just be very careful. Heatster comes down the inside, A blocks it. Um, so I was very lucky with that, otherwise Heatster would have had me. He had to slow down. He took too tight of an exit um, out of this first right-hander, so that gave me the better track coming out of that corner, and I managed to secure fourth. So all in all, exciting first few laps, but it was an endurance race, so I never knew what could happen later on. Um, all I could do was wrestle as quick as I could to get as many positions as I could and then just, just gauge it from there. But again, constant understeer out of this car, which is unfortunate. Heavy into the braking, kick the rear out. As you see, I get a bit wide there, a little bit squirrely, but the four wheels are pulling me out. Um, but just the constant oversteer and understeer was battling with that. Felt like you were on ice on some parts, but I just think that's the nature of the car. All in all, very manageable car, very easy to drive. Um, the power will pull you out of, out of corners very, very easily. Uh, it's just a matter of getting used to the handling characteristics. So I'll let you watch the rest of this. There's not too long to do. It was a 30-minute race, I believe. Um, so enjoy. 
it's pretty exciting. It's nice to watch these nifty little cars go around Sakuba. Um, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Bye.